Welcome to Mischief with Miss Marie. I'm Miss Marie and I will be vlogging and blogging for the New Canaan Library. You'll see me doing three types of vlogs, crafts, series and sequels, which will include children's and YA literature, and obsessed with pretty much anything that I'm obsessed with, including apps and books and movies and television shows and music. And so it'll be kind of a hodgepodge of everything. So today's gonna be a craft blog all about alternatives to regular paint and brush. When you're painting with your preschooler, it's always great to introduce new types of textiles and materials so they can really express your creativity. So I'm gonna talk about a couple of different things to replace a paintbrush while also talking about different uh, paints you can use. Some alternatives to paintbrushes include balloons, Make sure you don't blow them up too big, mattering the size of your paper. Pipe cleaners, which you can easily make by taking two and twisting them and then using the bottoms to spread out. They make really cool fireworks. A regular household sponge. You can either buy a new one or wait until your old one's a little bit yucky. Tiny cars. Wheels make great ways to paint. And if you get a couple different cars, you'll get either the smooth or the textured on their wheels. You can also use Q-tips, which make really easy little dots. And last but not least, you can also use different kinds of fruits. So apples or um, lemons or even uh, acorns or pine cones out in nature make really great ways to paint with nature. Now I'm gonna show you what it looks like when you paint with each of these materials. We'll try the balloon first. You just wanna dip it in a little bit of your paint. You can mix it around a little bit and then just splat it down. It makes a really cool shape and you can move it around to give it a kind of different look. Next, we have our pipe cleaners. So same with the balloon. You can just dip it in the paint. The pipe cleaner, make sure you move it around just like the balloon. And then just drop it. Spinning it kind of works the coolest. Sometimes you have to press down. It makes really cool circles. Then you have the sponge. It works best with, best with a little bit of a watercolor and just pressing it into the paint and then splotching it around. It can make really cool looking flowers. Next we have the car. So just dip the wheels in and then run it through. It makes really cool race car tracks and you can even have a race. And last but not least, we have the Q-tip, which is really easy and makes fun little dots, or it can be used even like a regular paintbrush. And there you go, a beautiful creation. Now that we've seen all the different things you can use to replace a paintbrush, let's talk about replacing your paints. So while using watercolors and poster paint is a great way to mix colors and talk about the differences, you can also use a couple different um, ways. You can uh, freeze your paint. You can either use a uh, food dye or actual um, uh, non-oil based paint to freeze it so they can paint either on the paper or outside on um, pavement um, using those ice cubes as their actual um, painting device. It's not always about the instrument, it's also about the paint. A creative way of using a different kind of paint is using M&Ms. What you can do is buy a regular package of M&Ms and have the child actually sort the colors themselves. So not only are you learning a new way to paint, but you're also talking about colors and separating them into different cups. Once you have them separated into different cups, you just pour a bit of water into each of them and using a regular paintbrush, you can actually uh, mix the M&Ms around as the color dye seeps off them and use that to paint with. It's a great way for your kids to find new and alternative ways of using paint. And last but not least, Miss Marie's favorite. It may make a big mess, but it's great for the littlest ones. So even if they put their fingers in their mouth, you don't have to worry. 
using condiments such as ketchup or mustard or even mayonnaise to draw on the table is a great way for your kids to learn how to paint even at the youngest age. You can help them to draw different shapes and outlines and while it may make a little bit of a mess, it's easy cleanup and you don't have to worry about them sticking their fingers in their mouth. So you're welcome to try out all these different kinds of paint brushes and paints with your kids and post your art as a comment on the blog or come into the library to show Miss Marie the creations. Thanks for tuning in with Mischief with Miss Marie. See you next time.